right guys welcome back to the channel to right now we're on line two at the dynaflex original monster stack shootout and we're gonna go over some more trucks because there's a whole nother line of really cool trucks mm -hmm. and we're doing this early in the morning we've been a lot of the shows we've been figuring out that let's get here early before the crowd shows up yep and we can actually see trucks and it's quiet there's still some people here though because rags down is literally in like an hour mm -hmm. and so there are some guys that are running around trying to get their trucks cleaned up and they're in a mad dash because rags down happens at 9 a.m but this is the wash and show line and you know they're a little more relaxed oh yeah absolutely we'll just flip the camera around and uh start showing you guys some cool trucks all right let's do this all right we're on our uh second lineup of trucks here early in the morning in Ventura, California. Where is Ventura, California? Ventura, California is about an hour and a half northwest of LAX airport. Yep. Yep. And uh, the weather here is pretty cool because it's like it's not hot, it's not cold, it's pretty good temperature. Good time to walk around and look at trucks. We should clarify, that's about an hour and a half without traffic. Yeah, yeah if you get stuck in traffic, it took us like three. Yeah, it took us about three hours to get here, just because... We went uh, rush hour. Yeah, we were in between like three and five o'clock. It was literally probably the worst time to drive in Los Angeles. It was bad. <laughs> but we made it here. We did. So this was pretty neat. Small bunk. I like the blue frame with the dark blue truck. It's cool. A lot of nice little touches on it. 379 headlights in there look good. 379 grill. The old cake top uh, breathers. Yep. It's a nice ride. And then over here, we got this dump truck pulling a dump trailer. They, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, dang it. The setup. They call it setup something, Tommy. It's a. Uh, you know, I've, I've never been officially schooled on that. I really don't know what this it's is a called. Transfer. A transfer trailer. Nah, man, this is called a double dumper. Double dumper. <laughs> I think the I think technical terms is a, is a transfer trailer or something, but uh, there's a lot of these in California. You see them out here. That and the hay haulers pull like double wagons. Yeah. And there's some of those that are here too. Yeah, some of the double wagon mm -hmm. hay haulers. This this setup's sharp. Purple with the with the right amount of polish stuff on it always looks awesome. It really does. I like the way he did his fenders in the back. He he ran them into the back of the uh, the bumper for the dump uh, the dump body. It's pretty neat. This is a cool setup here. Yeah, you see how he just ran his half fenders directly to his uh, rear yep. bumper? Pretty that's, sharp. That's a cool look that you can only accomplish on a dump truck. So if we were to do that in like an over the road tractor, it would just look so weird. But it looks being, great on this setup. Yeah, being that it's got this body on it, it looks fantastic. Polish in there, it's painted. Really nice setup. And then you got the transfer trailer over here. Same kind of deal. Hey, look, I think he used the other part of the fender back here. It kind of looks like the rest of the fender, or part of the rest of the fender that they, they cut off on both of these. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, honestly, I don't, was that, uh, I don't think he used the backside. I think he had to cut quite a bit of different, like, pieces of fender to make this happen. I think this is, if that, you know, if that fender rolled all the way around over here. Yeah. If it then did. you've got, I mean, he well, only had two, though. No, I, I kind of want to. That'd be too long. Yeah, that'd be that. That'd be way too long. I think he had to take some pieces of some fenders, and I think this guy <laughs> demolished like nine sets of fenders to make this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool looking. <clears throat> it definitely is very cool. I don't know. Somebody's selling them. Okay, Brian. Like, here's here's the thing. Somebody's selling those little half quarter fender things, right? Because you got one here. There's one here, there's one on the back of that one, and then you look over there, they go the same they're, on, they're, on that, they're on that trailer too. Unless someone just really likes cutting up like half fenders. Pretty neat. It is, it's a cool setup for sure. 
I'm, I'm like kind of intrigued with the uh, the whole transfer trailer setup. I mean, look how far, look at the distance that they're, they're pulling from behind it. Yeah. It's pretty wild. And I'm guessing that's a big air tank. So this must be, we gotta find one of these guys and talk to them. Yeah. I need I to see. understand how all this works. Yeah, I wanna know the difference between all three trailers here. They're all different. Each one of these dumps, outside of the, the purple one and the polished one, they look pretty similar. But then one's got a big, huge air tank on it. Well, actually, they both have big air tanks. This one's just hidden. It's hidden underneath. Yeah. Yeah. But then this one doesn't have an air tank. Interesting. It is, very. You can tell we don't get a lot of equipment like this back in Tennessee because we're both just like, wow, how does this work? <laughs> like, this is a, I've only you know seen it a, a handful of times. This one I like a lot. I like the old school flame job. Yeah. Every time I see it, you know what it reminds me of? What? Optimus Prime. Oh yeah. I think Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, Hot Wheels cars too. There is a lot of those like OG flames on Hot Wheels cars. It's just so cool. My uh, my sister had a PT Cruiser with this kind of flame job on it. Really? <laughs> yeah. When the PT Cruiser came out, like that was, uh, there were several had flames on them. They were pretty neat looking because uh, that was like an old school looking kind of hot rod car. It they, really they, was. They were trying to go with. I always liked the flame jobs and then people would put like those, uh, those wooden panels on the door and made it look like a mm -hmm. little miniature woody wagon. Yeah, those things were, I don't want to say they were cool, but they were different. <laughs> We were in high school, so our idea of cool back then was very different than what it is now. This thing's freaking super clean. And over here, got a 386. Another aero truck, it's been dropped to the ground. There's a 579 a couple of trucks down, which is like, it's really neat seeing these aero trucks being dropped down like this. And, uh, these are these, uh, this is one of those double wagons like what you were talking about. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Brian from Big Strappers challenged me to back one of these up yesterday, and I told him not a chance. It would be difficult. It, it is would... way harder than most people think. So I had, a, uh, I had a driver come in one time that was undecking trucks, and he had three trucks on the back of one, which means there were four pivot points. And... Um, he couldn't get out of the parking lot, and he asked me if I would back the truck up out of the parking lot. Did you have any better luck with it? I, you know, I eventually, it took me probably an hour to back <laughs> this thing up. About a good 40 feet was really all it needed to go. But with four pivot points, it was an absolute nightmare. I can imagine this is probably pretty similar. Yeah, it, you would have to, it takes some experience to get good at it. Yeah. Because you got to know how to turn the wheel to get the front trailer to do what you want it to do in order to get the back trailer to do what you wanted it to do. Yep. And you got to think about everything in the middle. Good looking truck though. I like it. No, it looks the great. The 386 is a cool truck. Yeah, that, that small sleeper, it's, it's really, really cool. Got Kenworth, same setup. Yep. I like the trailer. They they took the same colors like from the stripe. Yep. Into the trailer and everything. It looks good. Bakersfield, California. You know, and that's again, that's that's kind of like one of those trucks that you don't see a lot of back home. These single axle, you know, I'm assuming high horsepower trucks. I'm betting, man, that that they'd have to be hauling a lot of hay to want something like this instead of doing it on a gooseneck. So back home in Tennessee, everybody just hauls them all on the gooseneck and hotshot trailers a couple of years ago i was out here they'll have these things with square bales and i mean they'll be they'll be way up there stacked pretty high yeah it's pretty wild be a good way to get it done quick wouldn't it mm -hmm. blue and white looks awesome too well, but i want to know why the two trailers instead of just doing like one 53 foot trailer I th it has everything to do with bridge laws and weight or something. I, every state's got their own set of rules. And they're all different. And California's like, this is just how I've always seen, I just for whatever reason, this is... The hay haulers out here, that's what they do, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't know if it maybe has something to do with, like, you can unload 
or unhook one trailer to unload it and then pull forward and unload, you know, maybe it has something to do with just getting his stuff loaded and unloaded quicker. Yeah. Could be something along those lines too. It's still really cool seeing these higher horsepower single axle trucks. Uh huh. A lot of hay hauling going on around here. You know, you say around here, but this truck says it's based out of Oregon. Well, still like. That's what the door says. Other side of the country from us. Well, yeah, I mean, it's still geographically speaking closer than we are. <laughs> yeah. But Oregon's a long way from here. It's like a ride. long, long way from here. I've been to a lot of states. You know, I haven't ever been to Oregon. I've never been to Oregon either. Oh, uh, scratch that. I laid over in Portland in the airport. So I guess technically I've been to Oregon, but I've not necessarily been to been Oregon. Been to Oregon, yeah. Yeah. Here's that 579 you're talking about. Yeah, lower to the ground, low profile tires. Man, how about that thing? It just looks super cool. The low aero trucks do look good. Wait a minute. Yep. Man, these guys showed up with a lot of trucks, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Because all of those. <clears throat> yeah. This one, too. How's it going? It does look nice. It's so cool. I noticed, too, out here, a lot of the trucks have tinted side windows more than you see on our side of the country. Um, I don't know what the state laws are, but I know DOT frowns upon it. Yeah. But I mean, if you're just hauling hay and you're local and you know you're never going through any scales and... Probably get away with it just fine. I, I don't know that anybody's ever gonna say anything. It'd be it, nice. It would be nice just because, I mean, these guys are out in fields all day long. You're in a truck all day. Yeah. You get the sun kind of coming in, like. That sun blaring in. Having tinted windows would be a, kind of a big deal. Especially these big windows on these new aero trucks. Yeah. I mean, these windows are huge. Yep. So, yeah, definitely, definitely a huge help. We got you another know, cool cab over here. You know, one thing that would help this truck a lot, Brian? What? Is a visor. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice it until we said big window, but then I was just sitting there looking at it like, you know, a, like a slammed flat vi visor would look pretty cool. It would paint it to match or something. Yeah. Yep. I mean, obviously there's nothing wrong with this one because I didn't even notice until we said windshield, but. <laughs> the truck fits really well the way it, it is. It really does. I mean, it's it, it's really fitting all the way around. We got a cab over. An old Peterbilt cab over. I like the turquoise and the purple. It totally reminds me of like, um, like an 80s kind of a color setup. Yeah. A little bit Tron-esque, I guess. Yeah. That real dark black and some some bright, bright bluish and purple colors coming through. How about a leather wrapped deck plate though? Pretty neat. It's got storage boxes in it. Truck's name is Slow Motion. This is a pretty freaking long. It's a long, long cab over. I mean, stretched out there for sure. I always want to know what they're hauling. What is this? Some sort of high pressure piping. Yeah. Thought those were hydraulic cylinders to begin with. I just like how long this thing is. Yeah, me too. What's it got in there for an engine? Oh, look at that, it's got a kitty cat in it. <clears throat> cool ride. Air ride front end. All right, Brian, so I do believe this is my favorite color combination so far I've seen today. I don't know why that the like if you're looking at just the side of the truck mm -hmm. like that's one thing but like when you get to that top ridge you can see the metallic in that um it's like a mix between like a teal green and like a turquoise maybe like it's i don't know this is it's a cool color it's it's pretty neat 
It just when it hits that top curve of that hood, it just it just hits just right. Yes. I mean, it even shows up well on camera. Those colors do look good on the white truck. It really does. Honestly, like, I kind of want to do those same colors on, on like a dark truck maybe, because you can see it's outlined in black and it looks super good with black. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but like, does it does it take away from it then? No, I don't think so. No, uh, I'm, I'm not saying the black on this one. I'm just oh. saying if you did black, does it take away from like that super pretty turquoise? I don't know. This may just be the perfect color combination. It's, it's pretty neat. It stood out a mile away from me whenever I when I first saw these trucks pull in the parking lot yesterday. Yep. I was like, whoa. Now that's pretty. These guys just haul equipment. This is pretty neat. So it's got a roll off bed back here. It's like a 20 ton roll off bed with a hitch. And he's got another equipment trailer back here. Yeah. I mean, they painted it. I mean, they, obviously, they worked this thing, but I mean, if you look, they painted this thing, made the sides of it all nice and slick. Really cool setup. Sides are slick, but them D rings got some usage. It means they're working. Doing what trucks are supposed to do. How about that freaking PTO powered winch? I was looking at the leather wrapped headache rack. That's kind of cool. Yep. Then we got a mate to it over here pulling a low boy. Stand up sleeper on this one. This is different. So, you know, we usually put an airline box in. Yeah. It's like, it slides in these rails for the merit deck plate. They built their own. Yeah. Well, I guess Pretty they welded cool. it in? Hmm? I guess they welded it in? Yeah. These pieces are aluminum, right? Yep. Wow. Man, aluminum welding is one of those things that's very finicky. Pretty sharp setup. I like, I don't know if I like the green on green better or the bl the black outline with green. They the both black, look cool. I think the black outline really sets a harder line, but the green, I don't know, the green kind of follows the green yeah. better, doesn't it? I like the green bug shield on it. I don't know, which one are you going, green or black? I like the green on green. I was gonna go. I was gonna go green and black, just because it, it separates the lines so much harder. I mean, yeah. look look at the top of that that hood ridge. I mean, just from here. Yeah. It still looks awesome when the sun hits it just right. They're cool colors. It really is. Got another Kenworth. MIT. Polished out flatbed on it. California tags. Again, it's just cool seeing trucks that we don't get to see all the time. Mm -hmm. I tell you, polishing that trailer is a freaking job. Hey, did you notice the stripe he did around the front of the fender? Uh, yeah, down here across the bottom. Yeah, around the bottom. That's cool. I hadn't seen that yet. trailer like that's some freaking work right there polishing that whole dude out mm -hmm. but how about running super low profile 22s oh yeah get some low rear t-bar is pretty cool too chrome shocks my first thought was like surely he only runs these to like truck shows right like these super low profile tires but then i noticed where his half fender is mounted yeah and it's not going to fit any more tire in there nope so no this is this is the tire he likes to run which is that's kind of cool much higher replacement intervals <laughs> and then this one i like i love it well i've always been a big fan of this brown color anyway yeah this is just a really good looking truck morning good morning guys Those coils always would make me nervous. 
don't know. There's like six chains per coil, so I think. I mean, yeah, not not past that, but this is you know like if you're unloading them or something like this is a gigantic heavy wheel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you have to be really careful when you're hauling this stuff, loading and unloading and things like that. You could have a you oh, could have a pretty bad day if something went wrong. Oh, it could get pretty bad pretty fast. This well, that's why flat betters require a different level of experience. You know, yep. we've, we've talked to a lot of guys who own flatbed companies and how picky they are about drivers. And, you know, there's not a lot of rookie drivers in the flatbed world. It's because they're hauling things like this. Yep. You got to know how to strap and tarp and chain and everything else. I wonder what those weigh. A lot. I mean, they you're bending four by fours. A whole so. bunch. Oh, it's cable. It says 8,000 feet. Yeah, of that. look at the cable in there. That's crazy. Gross weight, 12,511 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, so between the three of these, that's 36,000 pounds of steel cable. Pretty cool. All right, so we got a lineup here. We got seven bobtails in this line to check out i don't think that's black no it's like a really dark blue i was about to say it's kind of like a midnight blue at first glance i was like it's, it's black but it's, it is it's a really dark blue that's a cool color at night you it would be a black truck yeah yeah as soon as the sun goes down this is yeah. a black truck pretty cool really dark reddish brown Sensing a pattern here. I think uh, San Miguel Transportation likes darker looking trucks. Outside of the white one parked right here. <laughs> I like that stack set up on this one. Yeah, the old school looking stack. You know, there's a lot of variety sitting here between these three trucks. So he's got a 78 inch sleeper over there, and then that's a raised roof, ultra cab, and he's got a flat top that's the coffin sleeper, and then he's got a flat top that is 58. the 58 inch sleeper. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything in his fleet, huh? This one was pulling in yesterday, and uh, one of the things I liked about it well, a couple. This is pretty neat. You put the reflectors on the ends of the lug nut covers in blue. I hadn't seen that. They painted the hubs blue, same deal back here. That's like a really old thing. It's pretty neat. I, like that's the first time I've seen someone do that on a when truck. I, when I was a kid, I used to see these all the time. Really? Yeah, these reflectors on the end of the lug nut covers. It's just one of those things that just, I don't know, it just got less popular over time and yeah. then it disappeared. But I remember being eight or nine years old and it's like if you didn't have reflector lug nut covers, you just weren't cool. This, is, this was one of the first ones I've ever seen that way. It is. I That's, like that. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I remember going to Mid-America when I was like five years old and there was a ton of those things. Good looking ride. That is pretty cool. Cool looking truck. Glass watermelon lights in it. <clears throat> Stainless cabin sleeper panels. Here is another Hatenga and Sons supply company. Dude, they brought so many trucks. Yeah. If there's an award for most trucks brought by one company, I think it's these guys. That they definitely won that one for sure. I've seen this name several times today. Cool old truck. Ryan, the the ELD sticker on the door. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that's not even a sticker. He had his head, uh, yeah, it's pinstripe. That's so cool. What about the the fire putter outer on the back? Yep. That's good stuff. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get it on that. That's that's so cool. I like the hand lettering. Pretty neat. I love a good sense of humor. All right, we got two more, Tommy. All right, let's do this. This one's Brian Fershing's truck with um, big strappers. You'll, we'll uh, we'll see him over at the big strappers booth. He was also in one of our videos when we did a tour of the big strapper booth in uh, Mid America. Oh yeah, yep. It's yeah, a good Brian, looking Kenworth flat top. Brian walked us around that booth. That is a cool looking Kenworth, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Cleaner Brothers. Yep. They've got a lot of nice rides. There is a lot of nice rides in that fleet. And then over here, one of Vinny's trucks is here. <clears throat> Roland Transport. This truck's been around for a long time, still looks amazing. But does Vinny have any trucks that don't look amazing? This is a true statement. They all do. Vinny keeps a lot of nice equipment. It's got a lot of orange on it currently. I'm like a big fan of orange. I think I've said that in a, every video we've done. <laughs> you know, eventually, like the color thing will change. You'll be like, you know what? Now my new favorite color is going to be this. I don't like orange anymore. I want blue. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. This thing's been around for a while and it's still in pristine shape and it works every day. Definitely a good looking rig. And these guys traveled a long way. This is uh, this truck's all the way over from uh, Wisconsin. It's uh, over where, where Bill's from too. Yep. There's a couple of Wisconsin trucks here I've noticed. Yep. But I mean, what would what would be a you know what would a truck show be without a couple of really nice Wisconsin rigs around? I mean, you kind of have to have them. I mean, if we break it down for what it is, the majority of the show trucks that me and you see and work on not not the majority, but there's a large amount. I'm Wisconsin sure trucks stuff. hanging out in Wisconsin. Yep. There's a bunch of them there. And I mean, if I'm in Wisconsin, like coming out to this show is a good excuse because I mean, why not? You're right by the beach. Yeah, you come out here and you're right by the beach and you get to hang out. It's 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 a this is definitely a fun show to come to. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, we covered quite a bit of trucks in this one, uh, going down two lines and I don't know, just enjoying the wonderful weather here in California, the cool trucks and nice quiet early morning. Yep. A little bit overcast and kind of a breeze going on. That's why I've got the jacket on. But the sun's going to be out here in just a bit. We'll be able to catch some of these limited miles trucks. There's still a lot of trucks to show you guys. So this oh, is yeah. video number two, two of however many we end up making on the truck side. <laughs> uh, we're all, we always hesitate to say because it's like, well, we think it's going to be four. And then we end up making six or something. Yep. <clears throat> but uh, we covered a whole lot of them. If you guys know a whole lot about this transfer dump stuff with those, like, let us know down here because... Well, we're going to find the owners. And I just going to figure it out for myself anyway. Yeah, we're going to ask questions. But <clears throat> we also like reading the comments and seeing what all you guys think, especially no matter where you are. We're, we're actually going to make a really unique video uh, somewhere on this trip that uh, we're going to talk about you know, what the truck show experience is like because we have, a lot of, uh, we have a lot of fans in other countries that have been asking us what's it like to go to a truck show. Yeah, and so we're going to show you all the stuff besides trucks in a video, like just all yeah. the things on the grounds in the area. What the experience is. Instead of just looking at the equipment exclusively, which is, I mean, me and Brian do that because that's the world we live in. But if you're coming to one of these shows as a spectator and you don't, you know, you know, you don't really know a lot about trucks. I mean, well, for one, we can point you in the direction of the nice trucks, but at the same time, there's a lot more to do at a truck show than just look at equipment. Absolutely, like eat food. A lot of really cool food trucks here last night. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. You gotta tell them the thing. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys gotta do the things. You have to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show. And then uh, also, don't forget about our truck show, August fourth and fifth, Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, August fifth is definitely the day to come out and hang out. That's that's more of the spectator day. And yep. Unless you have a truck and you want to bring it, then you can come all the way up. You can come in on like the third if you want to. Yeah, you can come in whatever day you want. That whole week, we're gonna be washing. We're gonna be parking. Um, the cool thing about it is. 
Uh, we own the facility now, so you can literally show up Monday if you need to. Yep. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Check it out, semicasualtruckshow.com. You can get all the information there. Don't forget to pre-register. you got to do that because then we'll know how many people to deal with. Because we've got like to feed people, we've got to park people, like all kinds of things. So. Not to deal with. We get to know how many people to hang out with. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it sound bad. But you did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, we we'll hope to see you out there at the show. Otherwise, hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys.